Jebla, had a rock. Jebla, We have a real rock. To rest our head on. Jesus Christ. We don't have to worry about what people will say about us. Who is not going to talk to us anymore? Because we are now Christians. Because at the end of the day, it's not how much people love us that counts, but how much we love God and God loves us. God revealed Himself to Jacob. That's grace. God spoke to him. And that is grace. God revealed his plans for Jacob. And that is grace. When God says, this is your calling, this is what you need to concentrate on your life. This is how I want you to serve with your soul, spirit and body. This is what I want from you. Don't say, ah, oh, <coughs> do that. <coughs> I don't know how to do that. I have other things in my mind. You decide like that because you have not yet understood <coughs> what it means to walk with God. Last Tuesday we spoke about the peace of the Lord. And about the joy of the Lord. And we had a wonderful discussion discussing how people feel and some people don't feel. But I know one thing that the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is not feeling tickling at the end. But there's no peace in your heart. When everything seems to be doomed. When you know that you are in God's will. And because you are in God's will. He will complete that work in you. And through you. Until that day comes. But only if you are walking with Jesus. You can understand that comfort and that peace that regardless of what happens in life, there is no looking back but fix our eyes on Jesus. We'll continue the story of Jacob next week. Meanwhile, don't walk out here and nothing happens. Don't walk out here and say, okay, it's again the usual bragging, you know, <laughs> <laughs> It's the Holy Spirit. And I'm not going to mention the name of the Lord in vain. God wants you. God needs you. More, and you will not realize how much you need God unless you walk step by step with Him. Let's worship Jesus. Thank <laughs> you.